like that. How much time do you have for the before the ink starts getting tacky? It takes a while. Okay, it I was just wondering whether yeah, that was it a depends fact. on the weather conditions. If it's at all humid, it's, it'll stay longer. If it's real dry, it'll be a little less so. And there are mediums that can uh, uh, be applied to make it slipperier or, or, or tackier. So I don't know if you can, I'm going to just see it myself. When you look look at it from, I'm going to try to show it to you too, but oh, no. you can, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. yeah. That's probably what mm. it's going to print like. I'm sorry it's not perfect mm. to hold it up like that, but. Uh, do you have to do it on the light box at all? I'm sorry? Do you have to use a light box to do it uh, on the light box? I, use, I usually use a brighter white paper on okay. the paper. But um, I, you could do that, yeah. yeah. I only, I, you know, it's a funny thing. I don't like to know too, too much <laughs> about what I'm doing. You want this element of surprise? Yeah, I do. Mm. I, I want to kind of know. We don't see these using the Holger camera, and then you never know what the hell you're going to oh, get when you take a picture with oh, that. So is that it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, okay. All right. Sweet. A whole roll of pictures of your backing paper is going to come out too. Much. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. That's time to collage. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess, I guess that uh, impulse to not necessarily know uh, can kind of go towards collage and mixed media in certain ways. Is where you're not, you know, you want to be surprised. A lot of times, collage is. Um, juxtaposing unique things together and you're not going to be sure what it's going to be until you just, it happens. Okay, well I'm going to print this. Um, somewhat. Randy, what's different about this printmaking paper? Uh, well, there's generally softer and they don't have as much sizing or glue mm -hmm. as a number of drawing papers or other papers. Like Bl Bristol plate paper has a lot of sizing. It's a very hard paper. So and, and it can work. It can work for this too. But it'll stay a little more on the surface, the print, whereas this will absorb it just a bit more. And you can kind of look and see how it's happening. Okay, and most of the ink is off, and uh, as it was mentioned, there is a ghost there. So let's leave that ghost, and, well, that's pretty wild, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the peculiar thing is, sometimes you put in these little textural marks, and they, they imply a lot of space and uh, depth, and... Uh, Looks like Christmas stockings on the fireplace. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. could be. Um, After a couple of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> now you can also, uh, I think I had passed around some that had like two colors, red and black. Yeah. You can do a multiple block or multiple overlay uh, with various colors. Do you have to let it dry or? It's going to take a long time to fully dry, but tonight if I put a newsprint over it will be okay. Yeah. It can take, take actually uh, up to weeks fully, fully dry, but... But then if you want to put the other color there? Yeah. You just keep going until you... Up. You do it at the yeah, same I time? Yeah, I could do it now and print another color right over. Could you do it at the same time? Like... Uh, like uh, if you want to put color on that one? Yeah. You just put it here and... Yeah, I would, I would maybe do it on a different one since I took it off mm -hmm. uh, because to re-register it exactly would be tricky. Mm -hmm. So I might just do it on that and, and do it. But it's, it's, it's possible, sure. Um, you would mix them at the same time. Though. I was going to say. But at the same be. time, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean you could put two colors. Sure. And that's what's sure. interesting. You could do that. You put the, the new jelly plate on the Um... 
There's a limited number. Of, you know, they probably have about a dozen. You can mix so. them. Can mix them. You can mix them, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, what can I say? No, no, that's <laughs> fine. Yeah. Painters are great. The only thing about painters with monotype is they have to be worried is if you like to layer a lot of paint over paint, you, you, uh, you can't really do it as much on a mono print. It'll squish the two together when you print it. Uh, but uh, that's why it helps a painter to make decisions faster. You just go for it, boom, print. Then if you want to revise it, you, you want to print over it. I can see we ordered some jelly plates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, that's the one. one the big one. I think no, they're going to find out what this does. <laughs> I know. It's not as thick at all, is it? Not as thick. Really thin. We're going to see what it does. How's, is that, are we going to be adventurous? Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's well, it sure is good. That's the, it's resistant. Good. It's resistant. Well, not the heck. What does it say? Pigment what? Pigment some, I, I got these uh, as a sample. I didn't, they gave me at the museum. So I just got them. These are iron bar colors. Huh? <laughs> I, I mix them in there. They must have some other purpose. Yeah. You know, the other thing, these are nice to paint with. That looks pretty good. So, uh, look, I'm going to print. Let's see how it is on a different piece of paper. It's a warm color. This is just a. So you don't necessarily have to use the brayer on it. That you not necessarily. No, no, no. you can if you want. Interesting. Printed. I uh, didn't print it subtle. Mm -hmm. No, no, I didn't. Uh, no, it was intense on the page. It's intense. But I like it didn't, the color. Didn't pick up the uh, subtle tones. It's not as brilliant red. Mm. But the paper is a little. Yeah. Even, but with the tinted paper, you wouldn't well, think me, that. I like that color red, though. It's pretty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can only use those jelly things once. Uh -oh. No, you, oh, you can use them all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, the jelly. Uh, Gelatin plates, if you make one, you can use them a number of times until they start to, you know, just like jelly fade, you know. <laughs> you put them in the refrigerator, keep them for a while. Actually, when I first seen it, I come from a medical background, and that it looks just like a gel electrophoresis plate. Mm -hmm. Anyone knows that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. yeah. That's what I was thinking, too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> just put a little positive in the right. See? Count those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that a di diagnostic imaging kind of thing? It's oh, rudimentary it's diagnostic. Just, it's just separating proteins. Oh. Are they expensive? No, no, no. But no, it's not imaging at all. It's usually made it's a the surface on which you put the biological material. And then you find electric cones on it to separate it according to the charge on it. Talk about it and then you identify it. <laughs> we all talk about it all. I think you might have heard Okay, well, I'm using some brown now that's one of the Akua colors. On the ghost. On the ghost. And uh, letting it merge a little bit. Now, is that black still wet? It's still slightly wet, yeah. yeah. And, uh, is he in? Oh, have him Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Is that something that if you sprayed it with water, it would reactivate? The water in the Akua colors don't like each other too much. So you can get a kind of funny thing to happen. Uh, so you wash, you clean them with the water, but uh, in a little bit of like detergent water, which I forgot to write. I'm sure we have some soap around here. Um, but you don't want too much water in detergent because then they then it doesn't want to clean.
You can see there's this resist. I don't know if you can see that. So you know, the kind of uh, thing with monotype printmaking is uh, if you spend a few hours or more, you start to get into it and you start to get a history of what you're doing and you create ghost prints and you create related prints and so there's a, it takes sometimes a few hours of work to sort of create a body of prints that are related and gain momentum as you work at times. Is that enough? What is the name that they give to the um, first print, the second one? What is the, has the, the ghost, number? The ghost print is the second one. Uh-huh. The first print is simply a monotype. Uh-huh. And any mo uh, monotype is any one of a kind, and a mm -hmm. monoprint, if you've heard, you've heard that probably stated, and, and like you don't know what the difference is, it doesn't matter really. But technically, a monoprint is a monotype with another print method combined. So when they ask you at, the, at your job about that, <laughs> <laughs> you could give them the right answer. <laughs> Get the day off. <laughs> it seems to be a resurgence of all these printing things. <coughs> there are a lot, yeah. There has been. Uh, Down at Springboard Gallery in Newport, when they have their open shows, there's all different sorts of prints uh -huh. that people bring in. They're just totally amazing. Yeah, there, there has been, I think. Oh, wow. So there. So that is a little bit of a ghost left, but it's mostly this new print, but a refashioned. And why is that interesting? Do you know? Does it look it's like you're walking down the street. Yeah, it's, window. it's windows. Yeah. Storefronts. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that everybody would have their own take on doing these and how they would come out, but I guess this is what I've been doing. And, um, I, I responding to these spatial things, and, uh, so it feels feels good. What is um, your version that that's interesting? Hmm? What is your version that you think? Why is that interesting? Of, yeah. Uh, I I couldn't tell you exactly. It just, it's, uh, But it wasn't it. This is a good way to get collage materials. <laughs> There's your collage material. <laughs> and, uh, so we're getting a little bit of that texture from just using it as sort of a stencil. I'm going to try to get a little more ink. <laughs> I'm gonna do. Uh, I am gonna do one on the image, the photo image. There's a resist too going on. <laughs> there was a resist going on with the brown and the red and the black. They weren't mixing nicely. They weren't. Partly because they need to be mixed more. You know, I needed to really stir them up a little more. But you get a, you can get a very nice soft look here with a roller. 
and a instead of the card. Your first one yeah, is spread it out yeah, with the card. Yeah. And uh, you can get a nice shop line just by doing that. So those of you who are afraid of uh, abstraction <laughs> and art making, I'll be honest with you, I've had artists who uh, were uh, more realists and they would go to monotype and all of a sudden they felt free. <laughs> and they're doing more abstractly, work more abstractly, more freely. And they would say, you know, I don't know why it is, but I don't seem to worry about it. I just go to town on it, and it's, uh, I just print it. I don't think that much about it. And uh, it's a good way to get introduced to trying to do abstract work. So really, basically, you have no idea what you start going to do. Uh, that's you where do. I wanted to mention again that when you start doing these as, a, as a, over a number of hours, you begin to have a history of what you're doing, and you begin to know what you're doing. Okay. And that's another major thing with artists have got to start learn to uh, you're thinking you know you probably have run into this if you have made art you say how come I can't damn well plan anything out and uh, you know you say well how come I, it's like a writer who who uh, writes an essay well well you start with a plot construction and then you go and you develop the plot the uh, everything to put together that construction and a lot of artists are not good at that. That's because I think they, they, they're in the center, and they radiate out. They don't know what the hell they're doing in the center. <laughs> <laughs> but they find, as they keep doing stuff, they go, oh, there's something here. I think I'll bring that in. Oh, and then you start to, it starts to happen. So it's a way of thinking. You just had a documentary, I don't know if anybody saw it, on Alzheimer's. And uh, this doctor has been using art for his patients and getting very good results. And uh, people, some of them who have a lot of trouble with their memory, have a lot of, get angry or have to veg out, and all of a sudden they're doing art. They're more alert, they're more responsive, they're uh, engaged physically, and I think it's really, I think this is leading us where we ought to go about learning how there's other ways of thinking and communicating and interacting. And the, the children have to learn of the, the, of the parents that they can do things, you know? So that is a, that's a pretty remarkable way to go. All right, so this is a, a real abstract kind of piece. See it once I left the gloves behind. <laughs> That's the end of that. But your heart was in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this has a little weave to that paper. It's a really lovely paper to create that texture of weave. So different kinds of papers to use with this is also very nice. Handmade papers and so on. And so it's a starting point uh, that can be developed further uh, by overprinting it, printing it again. What happens is by trying a few different mediums. And the original that that was? That was a photocopy okay. of a newspaper. Okay. Pretty interesting. Um, French newspaper from the past, 1980s, 1983. But it was like old stuff. It was a centennial of the 1983 French newspaper. Okay, so that that's like uh, again um, raw material to collage or paint with, uh, or make an artwork with, and. See if you can uh, find something of interest. 
something that you can use them over and over. Will they eventually bail out? I'm waiting. I, I've used them a number of times, and so far they're holding up. I imagine, you know. Um, I guess I, 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 that's the one thing I forgot. I meant to bring my uh, detergent and cleaning material, and I did not. Oh, Regular soap you can use? Any kind of, yeah, just like soap. They come off pretty easy anyway. This is Plexi, yeah, it's acrylic. Yeah. So you could probably print on that, right? Yeah, you can do that even with these. Uh, you won't get this full of a print without a print. They're pretty good. Do you need extra water in Um If you have one. I can get a pitcher of water or something. Yeah, maybe. But thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I usually have all that stuff here. I just short circuit in there. So, what do some of you all do? Do you paint more of you or sculpt? Or? I'm a painter. Painter? No? Painter? Now it'll be printed. Is there do something more spontaneous? Yeah. But now this, this, this can do it. What more water than this? No, that, no, 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 a K U A. A K U A. Yeah, and then colors with K K. They were done with a coat, so they dry really quick and you just lay it on the different colors. Yeah. Could you do them on those jellies? Yeah. Water. Oh, water. Something. I mean, I tried the oil, so I tried the oil. These are um, yeah, the little stencils she had. But I, I think more water is fine, will they tell you. Yeah, I'm afraid that I'm afraid that you can just use oil. This one's a uh, Cosmo 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 Cosmo
So even just this, you can see. I don't really need to tape it. Yeah. Yeah, you can come up, but just simply that the right transparency through. and then the transparent medium underneath or the medium underneath. Could it be so sort bigger of tape? The <laughs> uh, aspect here. Tape, yeah. Contact, contact. Contact. Oh, the, the, the yeah. he's, yeah. Contact tracer. Mm-hmm. Look at it, Still maintain the line, but now you've got yeah. the muted. Yeah, I wanted to get something to soften that a little. You know. You need three Take arms. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mess. I'm sorry. Yeah. I hope the senior thing doesn't. <coughs> we'll clean it up. Attack me. <laughs> <laughs> the seniors can get pretty rough. Well, this crowd <laughs> does. Let me tell you. Okay. Okay. 